worst vlogger. I don't even know why I started doing vlogs again because <laughs> I forget to film and then it becomes days later and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't film anything. Um, I am about to open this up. I got this PR package from Our Place. Very, very cool. And I made you like a longer review on this, but it is their new pan. And by now I am probably allowed to talk about it. So that's why it's on the video, but I wasn't for a little bit, but it's the perfect pot is what it's called. And it's their new, they have the always pan, which is like a really great pan. And then they just came out with the perfect pot, which is a very cool, like all purpose kind of pot. So just like the always pan, it comes with this natural sponge scrubber and then like this little care pamphlet i like to keep these because the care pamphlet especially because it helps you take care of it in a good way and then this is the top of it i'm gonna have to probably like reassemble this box because i don't have a space for it right now and i got it in the color smoke so it's this like very cool grayish black color it's a very nice pan and then there's like a little opening on this side, which has, you know, where like the steam can escape. And then one that's a little smaller. So less steam escapes. And then, oh, there's a spoon in here. So for, it says for stirring, sipping, slurping, and serving. Let's open that up. Ooh, this is nicer than the one that comes with the always pan. I mean, I got the always pan a really long time ago, so it is well used. You can probably see it back here on my stove. Very, very well used. And it has little notches in it. So I'm guessing like when you put it up against the pan, kind of helps the spoon set in like a built-in spoon rest kind of thing. So that's cool. And then the pot. Oh, I think there's more in there. Is there more? Let me make sure there's no more. Okay. Let me actually put this down. Makes it easier, but I do think there's more in there. Okay, so this is the pot. It's very, very cool. So this is a roasting rack. So you just stick this in there. It has little feet. This is silicone and like a little bit of metal and you can stick your like, if you have chicken or you're like roasting some meat, you can stick it on this roasting rack, put your liquid in the bottom of the pan and then while it's cooking, the liquid will kind of like steam over the top and cook it and make it super tender and fall apart without making it soggy. So you still get like the crispness, but also the tenderness. So that is very cool. And then this is a nice deep pot. Um, I don't think there's anything else left in the box, but I'll double check. I really love, here, let me stand back a little bit. I love the size of it. This is like nice and big. It's very light. So like it looks kind of like maybe a cast iron Dutch oven, but it's not that heavy. It's made with the same interior as the always pan. So it's like that nice nonstick kind of material. Um, has a little caution that the handles get hot whenever you're cooking so just be very careful always take these pots out with a pair of like heat safe handware it has a nice spout here so i really like that so if you're wanting to like pour out liquid like you have some of the basting juice in the bottom you can pour that out and use it as a sauce or to make a sauce later um so love that little spout i think that's a really nice addition because lots of dutch ovens and pots like this don't have a pour spout where it makes it easy to pour things out especially like if you're trying to strain like if you wanted to make a big pot of pasta in this like you could do a really good one pan meal um you know and the pouring is a lot easier so this is really nice. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, but I think that that's really interesting. I'm really happy about the color of it. I was debating whether I should go for the pink pan. Um, I think it's called smoke. No, smoke is what I got. Um, 
I can't remember. There was terracotta. That's like the orange terracotta pot kind. And then there is another one. And the name is like literally escaping me. I can't remember, but it's this light pink version that I have here. And as you can see, like I said before, we haven't cleaned this today, but our original always pan is extremely well loved. <laughs> We've cooked a lot with it. Um, and it has, it has definitely been utilized. So I'm really excited to try this pot. Let me know if you guys want me to make something in it. I do have to do like a mac and cheese recipe. I think it would be nice to do like baked mac and cheese in this one pot just to kind of see how that is. But pretty cool unboxing. Um, really excited to share just kind of like the first impressions of it because it's brand new and not something that everybody has their hands on yet. So I am like really excited that I get to share that with you. And then here, let me put the top on because I want you guys to see the whole thing. It's really cute. So this is a very nice pot. I'm excited to cook with it and kind of like give you a better full review of it, not just first impressions, but first impressions. I really like it. I love this color. I think that this works really well with my kitchen. I guess I should hold it up. Works well with my kitchen. And I think it's gonna be easy to clean. It's gonna look really nice. I love that it's made with that same like interior as the always pan. So that means it's gonna be super easy to clean up, super easy to just like get washed and rinsed and, and done. And then the outside itself, I think is gonna hold up really well. Our pan, although like our old always pan has some stains on it just that were baked in. Um, I honestly think it's held up really well over time. Like it hasn't, the color hasn't faded. The color hasn't cracked. The pan itself hasn't cracked. And I, you guys know I cook all the time. Like I use it rigorously. So it's really cool to see that it actually, you know, it looks like really good. And then here's the spoon thing here. So this is really nice. You can just kind of like lay the spoon in there and I can I gotta pick it up to show you again, but you have the little notches so you can lay the spoon in there or kind of like stack it up a little bit. Ooh, I didn't do that right clearly, but those little notches are helpful to kind of like keep it from falling all the way in to the pot, which I always have problems with, but I have a spoon rest also right next to my cooking station. So that's pretty cool. And then, ooh, let me see if there's anything else down here I don't think so I think that was all that was in the box yeah the box is recyclable so we will be throwing it in our recycling comes in like you know this nice our place box so very cool very lightweight um and I'm excited to give you guys more impressions on that. But for now, I'm gonna go and finish up some work. It's Friday. So I feel like I'm ready to kind of just like chill. <laughs> I haven't checked my blood sugar in a little bit. My, um, the alarms on my Libre haven't been going off. So I'm assuming that I'm in range because normally it starts to go crazy when I am um, not in range. And then insulin, same thing, not too difficult. Ooh, kind of hurt there. Usually is. That one was weird. That one actually was kind of painful. This is where y'all normally see me, but it's far less um, clean. <laughs> um, I just had an interview with Self Magazine this morning to start my day, and now I am gonna go make some coffee because I'm so tired and sounding like this. And um, I also have a lot of work to do today, like more than I even thought <laughs> I have a lot of my calendar, so I'm going to get my work done, get stuff together and then um, 
yeah, that's going to be it for the day. It's not a very exciting day. Um, Brian comes home tomorrow, so I'm just kind of like on my own with the dogs until tomorrow, which is fine. We're having a good time. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Like I said yesterday, being alone um, after all of this time of, of quarantine and not being alone. So we're making the best of it. <laughs> I really love how this camera has given me crazy uh, everything. Anyway, I got this box at my PO box from Noosh. Looks like Noosh Foods. Say Noosh to sugar. I have not communicated with them, so I think they just sent it to my P.O. box, which is kind of cool. That's the kind of level I'm on now. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's like pancake mix interesting I think they actually might have DM'd me on Instagram so it says we think you'll love Noosh products as much as we do our products are low and sugar diabetic friendly keto paleo and gluten free too if you'd like to extend the shelf life beyond expiration you can refrigerate or freeze the products any questions contact us through our website which is nooshfoods.com so they sent me Flaxseed pancake mix. I think two of them. So we'll try this out and see what's up. And you just add water and oil. So it seems like they might be vegan if just water and oil. And they give you um, instructions for how to make one single pancake. So that's cool. So I'll try those out keep y'all posted let you know how they are but I'm gonna go eat my lunch and then I have a couple more deadlines today that I need to get through um and then my day will be done so see you later good morning guys um it's Tuesday today I don't think I have said like what day it is in each vlog but hopefully you know from like mostly my outfit changes although some days I've just learned been wearing pajamas like all day <laughs> um I actually don't have a lot on my calendar today I need to go shopping for a mirror for my office that I'm gonna put over here um I have a couple meetings and just like a couple emails to fire off and send off I want to try to film some YouTube videos while Brian's gone because I always have to tell him to be quiet every time I'm filming something but I don't know that's difficult so I want to get them out of the way get like a few outfits done and then return my Eloquy subscription yeah just basically not a lot to do today which is great because I had like 10 deadlines yesterday so that's why I didn't vlog much I kind of went to go pick up that package and then I was plugging away at all this stuff that I had to do like I had like six or seven things on my to-do list yesterday that were like must get done cannot skip go not like couldn't not do anything on my list yesterday so um that's kind of it so you're just seeing me barefaced and um not all made up for my videos like i normally am i typically only wear makeup for my videos or like if i'm going out if i'm at home you're gonna see me like this so just like the, i don't even have a moisturizer on right now like just nothing <laughs> Ugh. and my face is all puffy because I just woke up so I'm gonna do something about that get some makeup on get my life together get my stuff done and then I've got the rest of the day to just kind of like lounge I just got done recording some videos and then I went to go check the mail and I had this Shein order stuff that I returned and then got different sizes of so let's try it on shall we Okay, first up is this hat. Um, I got it because I wanted some sun protection. We're going to the beach in December, going on a cruise, crossing my fingers that it all works out. Um, so I got this hat in hopes that it would work for the cruise. It's actually really cute. So 
This one seems like a win. Let's try on some more. Okay, this is a swimsuit cover up. It doesn't cover much up. <laughs> it's like completely see-through, but it is super cute and looks really nice. I guess it kind of covers things up, but if you're gonna be on the beach, I guess it's like, who cares? You'd either be in a swimsuit or in a cover-up. So that's pretty cute. These swimsuit cover-ups really don't cover anything up at all. <laughs> it's like my whole body is out, but luckily, I look cute um, and it's for the beach anyway for a cruise so it's like who cares but pretty cute I wanted this to be cute and I'm so glad it's cute it's absolutely adorable I love the little ruffle detail down here and then it's got like a cute little pocket I don't know if you can see it that's so cute oh my gosh I love this so fun and so cozy like wear it with sandals and stuff. I could wear this like every day. Okay, I loved these shorts in my last order and they were too small. I could button them, but they were too tight. They're still too small. I went two sizes up and they're still too small. So I guess I have to give up on my dream of getting an extra pair of shorts like this because they're too tight. I like could not even sit down in these if I wanted to. Okay, these don't look like this on the model. <laughs> I'm kind of mad they these are another pair of shorts that I really liked but they were too small they wouldn't even button so these button and zip I went two sizes up on these um, but they are still too tight so they're definitely gonna be another return and not only that but they look like dad shorts like I look like somebody's father it's this is not cute we're no we're not doing that nope okay this is the last one it's so ridiculously cute this little detail ugh, it's hard to film this this little detail right here i think is just so adorable um and it'll be fun fun cruise wear fun boating wear so that was a winner i everything pretty much worked except for the shorts the shorts were awful but i'm happy with everything else that i got so i am cruise ready you guys that's kind of crazy it's coming up so soon okay hopefully the color <laughs> on my camera is back to being better mm. Mm. anyway this is where i'm gonna end the vlog thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed seeing what i was up to this week and i will see you guys in the next one take care bye <laughs>